Yeah, it's not a truck and trailer. You know, that's 28 foot, but you figure in the, the front of the actual uh, hitch setup, I give that at least another two foot. I'd say at least two foot, not three foot. I mean, I'd say this is basically 32 foot off the back of this truck. 32 foot, what's the length of this thing here? I mean, you've got at least 42, 50, I don't know, 60 feet. Here. Puppy okay? Great. All right. Keep on rocking. Where's my nice Bass Pro shop? Cup laying on the floor back there or something. Woo! What are you getting on fuel economy? Let's see here. Eight. Uh, fuel economy, Eight. we're at ten and a half. Well, we don't have a load. If we had a load, we'd probably be nine, All I'd right. say. I Maybe you. ten. I got you. But think about this. We can go ten miles for every gallon of fuel. If we had an electric vehicle, we'd go barely one mile for every kilowatt of energy. So you could go to about you go about hundred miles on basically um 100 kilowatts now this back. thing here we can go 330 miles on back. 20 you know it's better because of this uh this cooling Are you capability still grouchy? well yeah i mean i'm still in pain that's what i was wondering <laughs> but it's not Sorry. as bad you know see everybody's coming zooming through here we're gonna change Sorry. that all right, get out of here. Yeah, if you go to the real deal, they want you to go in the back. But oh my gosh, it's trucks lined up. We sit there for a half an hour but longer. you're not a tractor trailer, Dad. Well, right, but they like to have the guys with big trucks and trailers that, you know, don't tie up that area. But we made it all work. We didn't tie it up too long. No, we didn't do it all. I mean, we're okay. I mean, this isn't a holiday weekend. I mean, roads aren't re really that radical. Thank goodness, because... It's not a holiday, but it's Friday afternoon. But we're doing good. That's a good news. Oh my gosh. It is tractor trailer city. Bumper to bumper traffic. Something's going on. We've lost all of our momentum. I mean, but this is. I mean, there's more tractor trailers and cars in the road right now. I just wish I was at a better angle here to give you a better view. I mean, it is radical. Yes, yeah, so we're losing time now. Must be either a major accident or road work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The joy of driving down the road. Oh, man, somebody's having a really bad day. Look at that. Look at that. The whole rig came un unattached from that freaking trailer i can't even tell wow wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> talk about a bad day wow we're coming into christianburg virginia blacksburg crest in the mountain kind of like now i think we get like the highest point that kind of now flattens out so we're making a really good time this truck just rocks I can't emphasize enough how confident this truck is with this trailer. I mean, I'd have to say this is close to my Ram 3500. Always thought my Ram 3500 was the best towing truck, but this truck with this Carly suspension front end, I can tell you what, this is the truck. I mean, this thing just rocks. And it goes up and down these hills like nothing. So it was a blast. This truck is so much fun. Very comfortable. Loving my massaging seat and my cold feature. And it's really helping my back. Thank goodness. Who would ever imagine that? I never would have thought to put my seat on the cold setting to help the soreness of my back. So it's just a great weather, great trip. We're probably still about two hours out. I think we're we'll probably getting about 9.30 or so. And yeah, just for having a good time. And the girl are content or with it. How about that? Little boy right there. Look how big that dog's getting. That dog's that dog's only what four months old? Five months old? I mean, wow. Is he gonna be like double the size? Yikes. Yikes. Wow. Yeah. Anyways, really great trip. Uh, then we do it all over again tomorrow. 
hopefully by tomorrow at this time, we're back home and done. Goal is, should make it the fastest, the fastest to Tennessee and back to Virginia yet? Probably. I mean, all reality, it would be nice to be down here riding the bikes this weekend, but eh, just too much. Look at that scenery there. Hey, what better way to travel than a motorcycle and a trailer? Do we get to see the motorcycle and trailer couple up here? Oh, they just cut back in. That's too bad. <laughs> that didn't cause a little disruption, did it? Yes, yeah, so you're out riding a motorcycle. You get a real taste of the beautiful scenery. And this is like a couple. I'll tell you, ride these people in front of us. It's sometimes so hard to see those two heads um, going down the road. And they seem to be going to travel a pretty fast pace, which I'm kind of surprised in all reality. But whatever floats their boat. Right. They're going to get us to go. They're right now doing, that little motorcycle couple there is doing about 80, 82. Look at the scenery you get to see, though. Uh-oh, this guy here is going to slow down my momentum. But just beautiful, you know, scenery of the mountains down here. It's just this whole Tennessee area, North Carolina area, the Smoky Mountains and all. I mean, it's just incredible how beautiful the scenery is. I've got my nighttime driving glasses on. I just, yep, I love these big glasses that you can put over your prescription glasses. And these yellow tinted glasses, they just really help me drive at nighttime. It cuts down the glare. Those headlights, it totally takes away that glare in your eyes. And it really gives you a crisper, clearer look at nighttime, sir. And it doesn't tire your eyes as easily. Can't emphasize enough that bad. Drives a lot at nighttime. I highly recommend these yellow tinted uh, glasses. They really do help um, your eyes not work as hard at night. You see a lot better. Oh, it's just a beautiful sunset. I mean, wow, look at that sky. Got a red sky. Look at that moon. Can you see the moon? I don't know if you can see that. We got a half a moon. Doesn't really show up that well. It's half moon. It's about 30 cents cheaper down here. Well, maybe. Is that right? But yeah, look at that. Look at the outline of the mountains there and all. It's like a hot evening, doesn't it? But it's not. It's probably like in its 60s. We're chasing the sunset just can't go fast enough to beat that sunset. How about that, huh? As all these guys are stopping in front of me. For what, right? Oh, look at this here. Is he going to take this car out on the right? Oh, I know what's going on. we got a slow poke. So this guy here is holding up the left-hand lane. He doesn't want to move over. You know, this stuff goes on all the time. You know, it just creates traffic hazards. And it's just like, why don't you just slow down? Let me go by you, and we'll all be a lot happier. You're not gonna hang with us. So, I mean, just like why? But we have those conversations. But yeah, we're chasing the beautiful sunset here, getting closer to the Tennessee line. Now we're in the Withville territory. Just so you know, this is dominated by police. You make them see the Withville, Virginia area, and you're doing like 85 miles an hour. You're gonna come get you. You go by them 75, we'll leave you alone. 80, debatable, but they're definitely, they sit up here. I'm amazed that there's none of them around tonight because usually they're very active in this area. <laughs> oh the kid's God. sharing, like, information you don't even want to know about. She feeds the dog eggs in the morning. And then the dog rides around her in the vehicle. What do you think happens? <laughs> she has a new perfume she likes. And it's called Kiefer. 
It's not weed. Yeah, it's called specialty kefir egg effect. Yeah, she's proud of this, just so you know. Wow. When do I get out of the truck? When do I escape? Not anytime soon. Let's do road work at night on Route 81 and make everybody suffer. Hey, this is not comforting. This guy's trailer is like running on the ground or something. I mean, Jesus Christ, he's got sparks flying everywhere. Well, we're right here coming to Tennessee. And when we get here to Tennessee, we get to go to our favorite place. What's the, what's the place called? Buddy's Barbecue? No, it's called um, Bodega's. It's called Southwest. Buddy's Barbecue, Goofy. She doesn't want anybody to know. She thinks everybody's going to come to Buddy's Barbecue. I just wanted to mess with you because you oh. would probably believe me. Here the truck shower guy coming out on me. I need to get off up here. Gee, thanks. There's Bass Pro Shops. If you watch my video, you'll know we a little story a about bass. that. We got a puppy there just like so randomly. And that's the love of my life puppy. Kiefer. Keef of Buffalo. There we Hollow. go. Can we get something to eat? An American Kennel Association. Yikes. I need to get the heck out of this truck as fast as possible. Wow. This is a heck of a cur. Dude, you're going to yeah. tip us over. You think we're going to tip over, huh? Okay. All right, now the challenge I'm going to have is, okay. yeah, because this place doesn't have a very big parking lot, but they, uh, I think it's Drew Brees. plenty of room. Oh, that's cool. Drew Brees parked uh, or built a brand new restaurant. Walk on. I'm surprised it's not open yet. No, it isn't. Oh. All right, so what we'll do is we'll just do a roundabout here. I think we're going to be all right. Yeah, I've got to watch my back in. That's for dang sure. Wow. Great. Tricky, tricky. But you did it. Chicken salad. That's oh, pretty They're closed. Least... They're closed. Whoa. Just about hit that damn. Okay, these guys open yet? Yeah. All right, we're gonna park right over here. Park, buddy, because I'm hungry, buddy. Okay, she wins. Wow. All right, yeah, get to get it, buddy, buddy. Blah blah buddies. blah 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 blah. Hey, hey, it's Buddy's Barbecue, and we've got a half a moon right above it. What's the odds of that, right? Did we make it in time? I don't know. Yikes. Everybody's hungry. Kiefer's hungry. Kids hungry for tailgating at Buddy's Barbecue down here in Bristol, Tennessee. How about that? Look at that. Walk-ons. Apparently that's a Drew Brees uh, owned company. That's what I heard. So look at that, walk-ons. When are they gonna open up? Wonder how it is. Sports bar, basically, right? So how about that? Wow, Buddy's Barbecue has an old-fashioned milkshake. I tell you what, they do a great job. It really is good. They use original chocolate sauce, vanilla ice cream, and they just mix it up right. And golly, it's great. Buddy's Barbecue here in Bristol, Tennessee. Come check it out. Well, made it. It's like, yep, 1030. What a day. What a day. Another busy day tomorrow. But hey, if you're watching my channel, thanks for watching the show. And for more adventures. Yikes.